what you're looking at here is some but not all of Skeetobots. And this is running in Sierra chart, and you're looking at a three tick range bar chart in the forward E mini SP 500 futures contract, and currently we're trading the March 2018s. And Skeetobots is a very big package, so probably the best way to get started in it is just to understand what's in it. So if I bring over here the custom study dialog box within Sierra chart, you'll see a DLL, Skeetobots.dll. Now, if you sign up for Skeetobots, either as a free trial or as a subscriber, the DLL and the Skeetobot software gets automatically installed on your machine. Actually, from Sierra chart, they push down the software to your machine. So there's no need to install anything. Within the DLL, you'll see a bunch of different studies. And we'll just go through these sequentially, but in no particular order, except that I believe that they're in alphabetical order. And we have book pressure here, which is this algorithm over here. And that tells you the pressure in the order book. Is there buying pressure or selling pressure? And what we want to know is, are we going to line up the buying pressure or selling pressure with price moves? And is buying pressure coming in at the beginning of the move or at the end of the move? If you have a preponderance of buying pressure in the beginning of the move, it means price may be moving up. But then if you have some sort of lunge or at the end of the move, it mean, mean that the price is ending or concluding or exhaustion. We have engulfing sweep, which are these, these like white boxes around some bars. And that's when orders in the order book or transactions in the order book sweep out a predetermined amount of other orders in the order book. So that's pretty magnificent. It can happen at what we call either breach points or turning points. We have MacDaddy, which is down here. That's the green and red histogram. And MacDaddy looks at the rate of change of order flow in the order book. So is demand-based order flow coming in? And is it increasing, coming in at a faster rate? Or is it coming in, but it's slowing down? And what we want to see in the beginning of the moves, we'd like to see an increase of rate of change of demand-based for long moves. And then it'll tend to decrease at the end of the move. And these are tells whether the move is strong or not. We have a momentum alert, and that'll tell you, hey, price just moved kind of quickly. You may want to pay attention. We have order flow congruence, and that's the color coding on the bars. So we have like the orange and the blue and the, the maroon and some reds and uh, yellow. And that tells you whether there is congruent buying pressure or selling pressure, or perhaps blue, which is neutral. There's really no tell one way or the other. Or yellow or orange, and that means that there's chaos in the order book. Orders are incongruent with price action. And that's very important to tell. Uh, we use those in the bots all the time. We have range expansion. That's these RE's you see here. So RE stands for range expansion. And what range expansion does is it looks back at the last handful of little micro legs that price traded. And when it goes outside the, the norm or the average of that range, it tells you, hey, price is moving out of its normal price range, trading range, pivot range, and that, hey, you may want to pay attention. And we use this RE's for lines in the sand to say, hey, price moved down here, but if it moved beyond it, that might be something we really, really want to pay attention to. Like, for instance, we saw price move up to the RE's, and then we said, hey, it moved one leg past that. With this preponderance of buying coming in, this may be the end. This may, in fact, be the end of the move. We want to fade that. We have Skeetobots it itself. And in this one DLL, package. there is a designer package where you could design your bots with no programming. We have a reporting dashboard that can tell you from a high level the efficacy of the bots that you've created. We also have a launch pad in there so you can trigger bots on and off right from the screen and or from a programmed keyboard. We have sweep, which is this histogram down here. And sweep is going to tell you the magnitude of sweeps of the order book. And that's pretty important to us as traders. You can see you have this huge sweep and huge book pressure at the right shoulder and price moved down. We have tape meter. Tape meter are these dots, the yellow dots or the blue dots. Some are small, some are big. And they're going to tell you whether the up-down tick ratio or perhaps the number of transactions for that time of day, for that bar side, have moved outside of one or two standard deviations. So those are substantial moves. We have another study in here called Zone Plus, and that's experimental. I'll tell you what it is, but we're, we're not really ready to release it yet. And that just tells you that, hey, price is in a certain zone where you know, it's very sensitive to order flow. And we have ZZ, show your real legs. So ZZ is zigzag, show your real legs means what is your real leg of a zigzag?
put it all together and you have a pretty cool trading package.